Well, doctors say the loss of smell is a much better indicator for COVID-19 infection, but now some survivors are reporting distortion of the sense of smell weeks and even months after the infection is gone. Our Brooke Katz has more in the Once for Wellness. I thought I had a sinus infection. Amanda Smith lost her sense of smell back in July. She tested positive for the coronavirus shortly after. The funny thing is throughout all of that, I never once ran a fever. She recovered and went back to work. There were no lingering symptoms, except... My smell still hasn't recovered. I can smell things, but... Um, it's not the same. And it's been five months since she was first diagnosed with the infection. I have this um, putrid smell that um, I can't even describe. All um, foul smelling things have the same smell. I can't distinguish one smell from another. And I will occasionally get the phantom smells, um, it, but it's not terrible. It just. I'll get like a whiff of cigarette smoke when there's none around. Dr. Nikhil Bayani is an infectious disease specialist at Texas Health Resources. With COVID in some of the patients that's been observed that it affects the nerves that allow you to smell called olfactory nerves and they're slightly injured or damaged. So that's why it leads to that phantom smell and loss of smell. He says some suffer from parosmia, a disorder that distorts the odors and makes them unpleasant. Others report odors that aren't there, a condition called phantosmia. Dr. Bayani says you can try to retrain the brain to start smelling again. Sort of like, you know, just sort of stimulate olfactory nerves, continue smelling different types of perfumes. Scents like lemon, eucalyptus, and cloves. Dr. Bayani says the smell distortion gets better over time, but in some cases, it can take longer. At this point, I'd rather go back to having no smell. Amanda says it can be depressing at times. She's worried about the long-term impact on her health. And while it may seem like this is just so weird and crazy. It's it's a little depressing. Um, it's pretty awful, actually. Brooke Katz, CBS 11 News.